Right here guys, back at it. So um, I've got all the stuff for my backy shower now, apart from the pump. Um, it's been an absolute nightmare trying to find a three inch solvent well PVC pressure pipe fitting, like a Y section. Um, I've messaged a few people. Uh, I think maybe Tim Waddington's got one, he said but he's in Japan at the moment, but I'm not in a massive rush for it. I can wait till he comes back. Um, impossible to find. Um, like, so I need a metric, uh, uh, no, sorry, an imperial fitting three inch Y. So if you know where one is, let me know. But apparently they're like hen's teeth. So um, yeah, failing that, Cotswold Coy has got something very similar, but it's Saturday now. So it's Saturday afternoon, well, evening. Um, and like I said, every minute counts. So I'm on the pond now doing the back of showers. Strike when the iron's hot, let's get in here. We've got plenty of stuff to do, tying up little odd sods, um, which is quite satisfying to be honest. So um, also someone's mentioned that I might have too many holes on my um, shower uh, at the top on the three inch pipe, but the pump I've got is the, um, is the flow friend uh, and uh, trust me that's probably not enough uh, someone give me a good bit of advice though to put a hole on the very top of the spray bar and if you get water coming out of that hole then you're getting basically head pressure on the pump so it's, it's too much water going in and not enough hole so that's a really good idea so I'm gonna put one on the top of that pipe uh, yeah, really good idea. So um, so that's what's going to happen. Um, and I'm going to try to sort out this now. Uh, we'll see where we get, to be honest. And when the backy showers are down, what I'm going to do is... When the backy showers are down, I'm going to get some... Uh, I'm going to wipe all that back down. Uh, get all that loose compo off it. Uh, and make sure everything is all singing, all dancing there. Get that last little bit sort of like, you know, gunk off there. May as well, and it? A bit of scotch, but it'll take me two minutes. Get all that off and then I can fit that into situ and well it is going to have to come back down because I'm going to have to take it down to put the media in there the day I'm going to fill up this pond but I can still put it up there and uh, and get it proper you know like in situ so that's going to be quite cool yeah so that's another little thing that's going to be happening soon we are then guys so quite chuffed with that so um as you can see there that is that pipe is lovely and straight and is also lovely and plumb that way so uh it's as good as done it what i've had to do is can you see the brackets i've had to drill a hole about 10 mil below to give it the right height for that rubber boot not to be under too much pressure and sit down there so they've all that's totally all attached now um also We've got one three to two inch reducer there on the other side of that spray bar, which is internal. Uh, what I'm going to do now is crack all this. And so you can see the height difference in the, in the two vacuum showers. Nothing crazy, but it's made a big difference for that pipe work. Obviously, um, my bad. I've, uh, I've guesstimated it was that high. Give it to Carl. And lo and behold, it's come back a little bit too, too short. But I could have eliminated that by putting that in. But... It was so hard to get that little pipe in into the hidden crevice that, you know, it was going off. You can't measure it. It is what it is. But I'm, I'm really happy with that. That's lovely. It's worked out perfect. So what I've got to do now is I've got a little tiny hole down there on the side of that backy shower. So I'm going to uh, uh, block that up pretty much now once I've taken these two down. I'm going to sit, drill these little brackets uh, to get that to reduce down in height. Then I'm going to trim and put all of this down there. And I think what I'm going to do, guys, instead of blocking off each side, I'm just going to put a small bit of two-inch pipe all the way through. So it sort of makes it like a closed system. It hasn't got a stop on the end. So I think that's just the easiest way to do it, to be honest. It's eliminating using two... I don't think I get two stops in there anyway. But anyway, I think that's how I'm going to do it. And that's how I'm going to do it. Guys, the backy shower is officially 
fully watertight and plumbed in. So everything is all plumbed in. When I come to fill it, I'll show you the whole setup. But basically we've got rubber two inch to a three inch. Then we've got those pipes that you've seen me drill. Then I've got a rubber three inch to a two inch. Then I've got a small two inch connector all the way through. And I've got exactly the same that side. So basically, you know, they're sort of working as one unit ish. So that's all now totally complete, which is a big weight off my mind, to be honest. They're all totally complete all the way to just outside that wall. So the only other thing that I've got to plumb in is I've got to plumb in my uh, skimmer, attach my skimmer to, so I've got to reduce the skimmer. I'm going to block off one four inch, reduce one four inch to a three inch. That goes straight into my flow friend. Then that will come straight out, and this is the other side where I'm pointing. This will come straight out. It'll go on into a Y junction and then get reduced down to two two inches. And then we'll have two ball valves, and then they'll go straight up into the backy showers. So in that way, we've literally got three inches going to two two inches, which is going to be the, the least restrictive way I can think of doing it. Do you know what I mean? And we've got two ball valves to control the flow on each one. But to be honest, when this is all full, they should work in conjunction with each other and balance each other out to an extent. So uh, this pipe here is the pipe with the shortest route. And that pipe there obviously is the pipe with the longest route. So when we come to do the plumbing outside, if there's any unnecessary bends, which there is, there's one bend. So this pipe basically comes straight through the wall and goes straight down and comes straight in. This pipe comes down, it goes a 90 out this way and 90 down and comes in. So that pipe is restricted by one extra 90 anyway, which is gonna help the balance of the whole pond, uh, um, the whole skimmer setup. So yeah, so it's not working too good. Uh, that's not working too bad, I wouldn't have thought. So next little things I've gotta do is um, this light now for the sign this is going to be extended i think i'm going to extend the really small white double cable so we'll extend that and i'll put it all the way across there straight into my trunk in when we get it and it'll pop out there so i can turn that on and off whenever i want which will be a nice little thing um yeah so it should be good i was almost considering buying a waterproof LED strip light, which goes all the way underneath that shelf, which will illuminate just the back on top of the pond, which I think might look quite cool. I'm still working on that idea and I'm still thinking about it, but you won't see it because you've got the, uh, the shadow from this light. So it'll be literally in shadow. You won't see it at all. Um, it's something I'm thinking about. I don't know yet. We shall see. Uh... Yeah, so that's another good job done. Um, yeah, so tomorrow, I'll probably do a bit of cleaning down here later on, clean all of this out. But tomorrow, what I intend doing is trying to sort these echoes out. So I've got the weekend now to get these echoes compoed in, basically. Um, another job that I'm going to do is chip off this wall on that little section down there because i do want it to come flush like this i know i could probably render over this but realistically i want it to be flush here do you know what i mean uh we'll see we'll see i think it'll be worth me just getting hacking that off really quick we'll see i don't know yet right there we are then guys so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna leave this for a uh, a week or two to totally dry out what I do need to get is another little bit of saw fit to go across there, but a th yeah, a little bit to go across here, but I'm, uh, I'm gonna leave this back now to overlap and to dry out, move those up there later on. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. You know, one of these little things in life, a little chore that's sent to you to torture you for things you've done in the past. Well, this is one of them, so. What I've got here is, this is this old slab from underneath this patio that I laid. So it's, I've got to crack it all up 
to get the eco drain to sit deeper this side. I'm almost done now. But the reason the pond is taking me so long, it's not taking me so long. I've only been doing it for two and a half months, I think, or three months. Pretty fast pond build, but I can't do any faster. I'm one man. I work full time. I've got a baby. Um, it's not a baby, actually. He's growing quite well. Right, so let's get this done. Bowsers, guys, I'm not going to lie. That was one of the hardest jobs I've had to do. So um, getting a bolster in there. So if you can see that black pipe there, and the electric cable they're going to run that's going to be backfilled now any minute um what a horrible job getting this in so finally that's got a slight slope all the way down i'm just going to compo in there um not too high because obviously we've got slabs to encroach into that so i'm just going to get the get the compo just low down there give it a good inch from the top of that echo um wow that was uh guys that was a seriously hard job to get that done but it's all nice now i've even got my little gap all the way through there ready for my rendering to hit <laughs> and like little things like this like this pipe is just buried under there i've had to dig that out um i've got a little 90 to come on there because that's where the hot water is going back into the pond but that looks quite neat Bear in mind, this is where the air source heat pump is going to sit. So now all the excess water, condensating water, whatever it's called, can go into that acre drain and drip back. There's a very, very slight uh, fall back into here. This now can be put onto that properly. Um, and then what I will do is, once that's all gone off, I'm not going to mess around with the compo the other side, if you can see what I mean. I'll leave that go off first. Uh, and then, as you can see from that level there, it is halfway down that block, which runs all the way across there. That means that it's perfect because now when I'm laying my slabs on here with a bit of compo, I can come to halfway up that block, which is absolutely perfect. And that's going to give me the absolute perfect height all the way through. So you can see this slab floor is going down by about four inches, which is really good because I'm a little bit high there as it is. So I've, I'm, I'm actually really buzzing about that. That's, uh, that's worked out perfect. But like I said, guys, I do apologize to everyone. I know everyone is like, hurry up, get on with it. Put the water in. But I'm not going to. Until this place is done properly, I am not going back on myself and having to do these jobs. When the pond is ready to fill, it's ready to fill. That's it. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing right. And that's it. Like, nothing's going to happen. There's no water going in that pond until everything is completed. Okay? Minus possibly the rendering on the outside. But to be honest, I still want the rendering done as well. So um, my fish are very healthy and they're very happy in my old pond. I don't want to jeopardize any kind of health issues with those fish when they go into the new pond. So it's, it's not happening. This pond is being completed. The glass is coming on the 14th of November. So if you live extremely close to me in the South Wales area, I do need one or two people to come down and give me a hand. You can come and have a look at the pond as well. I'll even make a cup of tea and I'll get some cakes if you'd like. But um, yeah, if you do want to come down, guys, and have a little mooch around and have a look at the pond, you're more than welcome to come. I'm probably going to have hundreds of people here now. But anyway, whatever. Hit me up if you want to give me a hand with that glass. I've got a few people coming down as it is, but more the merrier, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Oh, there we are then, guys. So uh, just making up a mix at the moment. I've got a five mil chippings uh, mix because I wanted to get it right into all those holes and I didn't want the bigger things to, uh, to plug it up. But what I've done is I've made a little form there as well so I can compo all of that in and uh, that's there just to keep it pushed across. But I tell you what mate, foam board is, uh, insulation board is pretty good to make little forms. Um, another thing I've got to do is take these out later on and I'm actually going to compo right underneath there to really get that set in situ. Um, and hopefully today I've got enough time then to clean all of this up because I'm actually going away for a week. 
and um, what I'd like to do is on the roof the other side down there is get this wall plate <laughs> so I just got soaked by that that was good timing wasn't it there we are so guys listen I know there's lots of little things going on I could have done this one after I actually finished the pond but realistically because I needed to get this little waste pipe in here or drainage pipe um, I have to get this concrete in before I can do anything else and realistically I'm waiting on the window now so um, I reckon as soon as the window goes in it's pretty much ready to fill up probably the rendering on the outside is going to be the only thing that's not done um, touch wood so yeah Right, take the dog for a nice walk. Look how lovely it is around here, guys. So lucky to live here. Um, take the dog for a walk. Um, so I've concreted in all of the eco drains now, uh, just underneath the surface of the kind of patio slabs when I put them there, because I take it about 25 mil, so I've left myself some wiggle room there. Uh, when I go back now, I'm going to do a good, good tidy and um, I'm going to possibly, possibly core drill one of the holes in the top there to accept all of the uh, trunking and the electrics in. Uh, yeah, just cleaned the t Tozai pond, uh, easy pod, so that's good. Um, they're on about one minute's worth of food now. 50-50 uh, colour growth sakikari. Um, on the auto feed of the profi auto so uh, they're on a good bit of food in there and that that pond is uh, maintained really good water i clean it once a week because i'm a big advocate in you've got to get the bacteria in there to get that ecosystem going and it's got a constant trickle in trickle out going through like a mini big blue which is uh, it's worked faultlessly is i haven't seen any of those fish ever flash so um when they first went in there they had a few problems with some flukes got rid of those and that's it i start to clay them once a week uh, they seem to like it it seems to revitalize uh, the water in the pond and put all the vitamins back into it so uh, they do like that a lot and they, they perk right up after a good uh, a good claying so um, yeah so doesn't give a shit look but anyway this is my local beach that's the Gower Peninsula you can see in the uh, distance over there. And uh, in fact, funny thing, if you can see that lighthouse there, that's called Whitford Lighthouse. That's one of only two state uh, um, cast iron lighthouses in the UK. See, from there all the way to that town there, that's where I fell out of my boat last year, right in the, between the two of them. <laughs> oh, but yeah, lovely little place this. Hi guys, here in Lanzarote. Thought I'd do a bit of underwater scuba, well, snorkeling, going scuba diving tomorrow. Uh, just refreshing my patio for water to be honest, but uh, thought I'd just come out and have a little bit of a play around. Let's see what we can find. So then guys, thanks for watching the video. Sorry I'm on holiday, but the pond will be ready soon, I promise you, won't it mother? Yes, he's lying, 100%. He's lying. <laughs>